What is up, everybody? It's CJ Plays here, and I'm back with another Sims 4 speed build. Today, we're going to be building a southern country cottage. Um, I really like how this build turn came out, and the new kit packs came out yesterday, and I've been really, really enjoying them, and I really just wanted to build something using the new kitchen-like items, so that's what we did with this one. Um, I do apologize, because this build uses a lot of different packs. I kind of, at first, wanted to like just stick to a couple, but I kind of got carried away, and... Um, there's just so many items in this game <laughs> and so many items just look good when placed with other items and other packs and before you know it you use like 20 so i apologize but you know even if you don't have everything you can still don't house you know it some things just may be replaced it's so it's okay <laughs> um but this build is uh two bedrooms um one bathroom um i don't know it could be like a one bedroom house because technically the room at the the second room is like upstairs at the back of the house so like technically it's not really like a bedroom it's more like an attic but like it has stairs so i mean technically it's a bedroom i don't know <laughs> i call it a secret room but that is the room that the son uh sleeps in so yeah i didn't tell you so i have like a little story with this build so in my mind it's like a mom and her son and you know growing up it was just them two so they're really close but like the son kind of always like wanted a dog and mom was allergic so they had to have like a cat because it was like a happy like medium you like you want a pet you can't have a dog um so a cat <laughs> so growing up he always wanted a dog so his room as you'll see later on in the video his room is just like you know he has like dog decals everywhere because he just always wanted a dog he even like like has like some of the void critter stuff and he kind of like chose like some of the ones that kind of look like dogs um as like his favorite ones so like you know now that he's an adult <laughs> with a family of his own he uh he has dogs you know and whenever like the grandkids come over they immediately go up to his old room because his his old room hasn't been touched since he's left um because you know one is at the top of the house and mom's not really going up there so I don't know that was just like a little neat story that i had <laughs> but i have some more but um uh going back to the landscaping um i did kind of go crazy with landscaping not super super crazy like i used to do but it, it's flowers everywhere there's trees everywhere um pretty soon you'll see um i used a lot of vines and yeah i mean country cottages and vines they kind of just go hand in hand <laughs> also this cottage it's kind of like a tutor style um i didn't realize that after the fact i was like oh this looks tutor <laughs> very tutor tutorish i don't know but yeah this is me actually trying to figure out how to do like the secret room um technically i guess you could say there's two secret rooms but the first one isn't really a room you could you know find a way to make it work as a room but you know for me the one in the back that's like the sun's room so yeah but moving on to the floor plan it took me a while to figure out the floor plan i did pause the uh recording a couple of times to actually try to work one out and um i kind of like what i picked this is an older build so the floor plan is a little bit more closed off and i do like how the chimney in the front of the house clips into like the inside and that's intentional and i really like it because that's where i actually place the fireplace i think i used the one from cats and dogs and um it's really really nice it's the one with the stone on it and it just really looked nice this whole entire living room is really nice it's really really big so if you wanted to you could definitely try to squeeze like another bedroom in this build like this build is um I feel like it looks bigger on the inside than the outside. Um, so you could definitely squeeze more rooms if you wanted to. I kind of like the idea of making bills like that where, you know, like I have a floor plan, but you could definitely add more if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, so for this, I kind of use a lot of the items from the new paranormal stuff pack. One, because it's kind of a new pack and I'm kind of still excited to use it. And two, so many items in that pack really, really look nice in bills like this, um, especially those couches. Like, I don't know, when I think of those couches, I think of like grandma, grandpa. Um, and I also use like the wicker love seat couch from movie hangout stuff, I think. Um, I ended up putting that in the next room, which I have a story about that room, but we'll get to it in a little bit. Yeah, so... I also use like the really old TV from Eco Lifestyle. I wanted to use the one from the base game, but I was like, you know what? I mean, that's an old tube TV, but I wanted to go older. Like I wanted, <laughs> instead of having been buttons, you have like dials that you have to like manually like turn. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and I also, you know, of course I put a rocking chair because uh, mom, grandma, she likes to knit. Um, and I also put the a bookshelf um i did forget to actually put the little uh 
craft basket things you need if you want to actually like knit um so i will put that in later on i didn't play test i haven't play tested this yet so uh, i will do that so if some things are rearranged or moved um you know it's just for gameplay purposes so you can actually access it um i kind of at this point in the build i kind of realized that i had more space than i know what to do it so i ended up putting like a chess table um in the like behind the couches which i don't think is that unrealistic to have a chess table down. i mean if you don't like it you can always remove it um i also want to point out grandma loves to collect like grandma like wh like her job was to like sell like like products so like she would sell like decorative plates to people or like arts and crafts to other people and it turned into like a hobby of hers so like she has won like she worked through a company um and she actually won awards for it so those are like the three awards that she won like in between the llamas but like her most prized possessions are these decorative eggs as you can see <laughs> she loves decorative eggs like growing up like when she like had her son like she kind of just fell in love with decorative eggs anyway um and i'd imagine like sometime around like maybe the late 90s early 2000s the company that she would buy the eggs from because like she would buy the eggs in like a catalog um and she would like just put like the money in an envelope and just wait for the eggs to come but like by the time like the early 90s i mean late 90s early 2000s the company kind of went out of business so like she couldn't like order order them from the catalog anymore so like she had to like sh she decided to get a computer which you'll see that <laughs> a little bit later that computer is kind of really old because yeah she bought one computer and that was it so i can imagine her like sitting at the computer like back in the 90s or like the early 2000s with her credit card trying to go on like ebay <laughs> to like bid for decorative eggs which <laughs> it's funny it's just something funny to think about they do kind of repeat so like i'd imagine that she had like some duplicate eggs but like she finally completed her collection and that's like her most prized possession she also collects like decorative um cats and dog statues um then of course she does knit so you'll see like different craftables all over that like so that this room i almost forgot this room actually um is a little bit interesting because the game counts this room and the secret room at the top as one big room so this room does have like a really weird lighting effect it doesn't really like it's not really out of place because this room is kind of tucked away at the back of the house so like i, I kind of like the idea of like it being a little bit darker than the rest of the house but um it shouldn't be too bad when you actually go and play i did put some like you know uh some um wall lights up and i also put like the little disc light so it's not too bad and then of course um the bathroom the only bathroom in the house leads uh this room does lead into the only bathroom in the house um originally it was just gonna be um i don't know this was gonna be like one of the bathrooms but i decided to just make this the only bathroom i kind of like the idea of just having like one small cramped bathroom because i think that's kind of realistic for like old houses like this right um so yeah i did use like the really old wallpaper and like the old tile <laughs> bathroom floors yeah so everything in this house is pretty much original nothing has really been updated too much i mean when we get to the kitchen you'll definitely see it um but yeah so this is like the master suite this is like grandma's room or mom's room um this room kind of follows like a light blue golden color scheme and i really like how it looks um there's also like this dresser that i put <laughs> and i'm pretty sure sims can still get around it but if they can't i'll have to remove it um I did try to like inch it close to the wall as I could and like the bed and the head frame like closest into the wall as I could. So Sims should still be able to reach both sides of the bed, but if they can't, I'll like have to change it. Um, but yeah, so next I just put like some decorative items. I put like that really old candy in a jar that you get from like the paranormal stuff pack. <laughs> I put that on top of the dresser because I'm like, yeah, I'd imagine grandma have some really old, um, she has some really old candy that's been there for a while. Um, and I also realized too, in the room with the computer, I actually had the windows swapped. <laughs> So I had the inside of the window on the outside um, and it I didn't notice it at the time because I was trying to like put curtains up. And I'm like, why don't these curtains work? Because I was using like the eco lifestyle curtains. And I was like, why don't they work? Um, so I ended up using like the ones from movie hangout. And then later on, I figured out they were reversed because I had moved objects on. So I did go back and change them to have the eco lifestyle curtains, I think. Um, so, yeah. So next up, this is the dining room. And it took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do with the dining room. Um... I kind of like the idea of it being have like being like a little walkthrough area 
so I did like use like one of the tables from the base game and I used those jungle adventure chairs because I don't I've, I don't even know if I've ever really used those chairs um and they really look nice of course I put carpet down I put carpet down in the master bedroom into the secret bedroom upstairs and in this room because you know it's an old house you know old houses love to put carpet <laughs> in rooms and of course I put up more decorative plates and I put up that little um book wall decoration um and next up we have the kitchen and i really really like the way that this kitchen turned out i made sure to use like every single item from the new kitchen country kitchen kit um and it just looks really nice i really like this kitchen it kind of just reminds me of like a sunday morning you go down to the kitchen and you know you cook or you smell food cooking and it just it looks nice i use the default color swatches for the cabinets and the refrigerator so um Yes, yeah, nothing too crazy going on with that. I also put up the shelves at the end of the, um, at the other end of the kitchen. Um, and I also put a vacuum cleaner because I kind of forgot. I was like, oh yeah, we do have the vacuum cleaner from the, from the other kit pack. So I put up a vacuum cleaner. Um, so yeah, I can imagine grandma vacuum. I put up the old one because I didn't want to put the new one. Cause I imagine like she only bought one, like maybe like when she like first moved in <laughs> and that's like the same one that it, it still works. So yeah, that's just something fun to think about. I also use like the old rug from Journey to Batu, and I'd imagine that that rug has just been there forever. So I mean, <laughs> that rug has seen some things. Um, but that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below, follow me on Twitch, and stick around with screenshots. Um, yeah. Oh, I really like the way that the backyard came out. Like. I didn't talk about it, but like the backyard is really, really nice. I put like a slide, I put like a swing set, and I also made like a, a makeshift like fountain pool. And it looks really nice. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, thanks for watching. Oh, oh, wait, if you want to get this off the gallery, see, I forgot to say that. If you want to get this off the gallery, you can find it. My gallery ID is C Kingsley, that's S E E C K I N G L Y, S E E C K I N G L Y. All right, so that's all I have for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. <laughs>